It's the story of how the twins came to be. It's really emotional and remarkable. They were also born via surrogate after their mom, Casey, tried artificial insemination six times without success. And the surrogate is Casey's close friend, Inez. So we have Casey, we have Dash, and we have Fox and Inez joining us today. Welcome. So nice Thank to you. meet you. Thank you. Casey, let's start at the very beginning and, you know, your beautiful boys and how that all began for you. You had a hard time getting pregnant. You had an older son, Sawyer, and you wanted more children. Yeah, we, we actually adopted Sawyer after a, a struggle of trying to have a baby. And about three, four years later, I said, I really want to keep trying to get pregnant. And we went back at it and still could not get pregnant. And we had some frozen embryos. Um, oh, hi. See yourself. They are adorable. <laughs> and so they inseminated. You had six embryos, is that right? Uh, we had three frozen three embryos, embryos, three embryos left. I was having dinner with Inez one night, and um, I was telling her all the, the saga and the drama of not being able to get pregnant, and she casually mentioned she would have a baby for me. And just then, casually, just like that, Inez? I mean, it felt natural. You know, we were, I grew up with her, so... Yeah. <laughs> what was the um, the moment for you when she offered that to you, though? Did I mean that is a gift beyond oh, yeah. any gift it's, of life? It's uh, yeah, it is definitely hard to, to comprehend that kind of generosity, and mm -hmm. you know, it's very touching. And I made her think about it for a few weeks, yeah, because I was like, that's a big offer. You need to really think about everything that involves and entails, and talk to your you know support system and. A few weeks later, I texted her. I'm like, it's okay if you changed your mind. And she's like, nope, I haven't. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, this is happening. <laughs> That's incredible. So let's see the moment now that we're finding out that you were having, in fact, twins, which you were not expecting. Take a look. <laughs> And hearing that and knowing that Inez was going to carry these beautiful boys and bring them into your life, uh, that has to be an emotional bond that you two share still to this day, right? Yeah. I mean, I've, I've known Venus since she was seven, and uh, I've known Venus since she was seven. And, uh, yeah, I mean, she's, she's family. She's always a family. And just that generosity, I can't really say it made me love her more because I already loved her as much yeah. as you can, but it was, it was, it made me just in awe of her and yeah. what, what she did for our family. Uh oh, uh oh, Jeremiah's, the bullfrog's getting a little crazy here. What's it like for them on, on the set and how they interchange them? How does that work on set? And, and what I love is the story of Kimmy Gibbler and also being, you know, the surrogate for uh, Stephanie Tanner. Did that story come from your own story, do you think? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say for sure. Um, you know, it could be just an amazing coincidence or maybe somebody knew something. I don't know. But but it, I, I really loved seeing the storyline and, and showing the struggle of infertility and mm -hmm. the the sisterly bond and, you know, that they, you know, having somebody carry a baby was, was just really mm -hmm. nice to see that on, on the screen. How does it work with them on set then? Is when one gets a little bit tired or cranky, do they swap them out? <laughs> they do. They yeah, do. they're they're really, uh, that's why, part of the reason they you hire twins. twins. So if one is uh, over it, they get another one to try with. Yeah. So they're they're really a good team. And, you know, um, when one of them's yeah. not in the mood, usually the other one is. So it's worked out well. What's Who's the uh, most fun to play with for the kids on set? I would imagine John Stamos. Come on. Yeah, no, yes. John's great with the kids. Um, yeah, they're all. Do they have names? Uncle Jesse? Do you call Uncle, you know Uncle Jesse, right? Yeah. Yes. They like, uh, who's your favorite person on Fuller House? Hmm? Who do you like? Cosmo. Cosmo the Cosmo, dog. Yeah, they the do love dog. dogs. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to tell John Stamos that. Don't worry. <laughs> Now that all the actors are really great with the, the boys. What do you people take away from telling your story you know, about surrogacy and, and how important it is, this gift of life? I just hope that, you know, for women struggling with, with infertility, that they know that if there's so many different options, you know, there's surrogacy, there's adoption, there's egg donation. 
<laughs> and I just hope that you yeah. know, if somebody really has a dream of building a family, they shouldn't give up on that dream and explore all their options. Family comes in so many ways, yeah. and these beautiful boys are uh, so yeah. adorable. Oh Guys, thank you. <laughs>